Hey everyone, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a Shopify store for digital products. So you might already know that Shopify is an awesome platform for dropshipping and selling physical goods, but did you know that it's just as easy to sell digital products as well? The types of digital products that you can leverage on this platform, and essentially how you can set up to sell digital products on Shopify. So without much further ado, let's get right into the video. So to get started, we obviously need to have a Shopify store all set up and ready to go. And if you don't have one already, then I suggest checking the link in our description box down below. Upon signing up using the link, you'll be granted an offer that will allow you to grab any one of these plans that you see on the screen for only $1 a month on your first month. It is the best current Shopify offer, so go ahead and grab it if you haven't already. Moving on, I want to talk about the benefits of digital products in general. And the reason I'm a huge fan of digital products is first off, you don't have to worry about managing physical inventory or storage space. So you will never need to pay for a warehouse or playing extreme Tetris in your spare room closet. Secondly, there are little to no production costs involved with digital goods. Once the initial creation work is done, you can sell that content again and again without any extra manufacturing expenses. And finally, one of the biggest advantages is that once you sell a digital product, you can provide it to the customer instantly without any shipping nightmares or returns. And for this very reason, customers absolutely love digital products. The satisfaction of getting their hands on their new purchase right away after clicking buy. Next up, let's talk about the types of digital products that you can look to sell on Shopify. And to be honest, for this point here, only your imagination sets the limit. But some of the hot examples would include ebooks or audiobooks, online courses and workshops, software and applications, music, videos and multimedia, templates and design assets, or digital art and photography. So you can pretty much transform any skill, talent, or content that you have into a digital format to sell online. The possibilities are endless for building a passive income stream. And for this video demo, I'll be walking you through adding a brand new ebook. So the very first step is to add your digital downloads application to your Shopify store. Once we've logged into our account dashboard, look for the applications tab in the left menu bar. Click on that and a search box will pop up at the top. And then from there, search for digital download. Plenty of applications should pop up and there's not much difference between them. However, I would personally recommend big digital downloads products. As it is built for Shopify, it has pretty much five out of five star review and it comes in with a free plan available. So in my opinion, there shouldn't be any other reason you go for a different application. The free plan allows for 250 megabytes of storage up to 15 orders, three products, and unlimited license keys. So once you've made some sales using this application, you could later on upgrade your plan to the pro one that would allow you up to 10 gigabytes of storage and unlimited products. But for now, let's go ahead and install this application onto our Shopify store. And once you have it installed, you're gonna see create my first Shopify product. And that allows us to add our very own first product with Shopify and then create our first digital product to sync them together. So for the sake of this demo, let's say that I'm selling fitness courses. I'm going to title my product a fitness course and then add some description for it so people know exactly what they're getting if they pay for this product. Add any media files if you have any, so pictures, videos, maybe befores and afters of my clients. And then of course, choose the pricing. And once you've done inputting your own details, click on save. After that, we want to head back to the application that we just downloaded. So I'm gonna click on big digital download and then click on create your first digital product. From there, you will notice at the very top that you can link the products together by selecting product right here. So I'm gonna select the fitness course that I just created. Click add and then you can further customize it by writing down the name. Customers will get access to a digital file. If there's a license key that they need to have, then you can add that as well. Make sure to select digital file on this tab right here that says digital product consists of, or perhaps if your product links to another page or some sort of product, then go ahead and click digital file plus link or just link. And it is pretty much here that you want to upload the file, which is basically the fitness course in my case. Maybe in your case, it's the ebook or the audiobook that we talked about earlier in this video. So go ahead and drop it right in this files tab. Once your upload is completed, click that save button, and then you should see your digital product uploaded into the digital products section within the application. Now, if you need to add more products onto your Shopify store, then rinse and repeat this process. 
You will see in the top right corner, it says new digital product. So you can click on that and then continue adding more products onto your store. So maybe for my own store, I would add something like fitness course for beginners or add more tiers for more advanced levels. Now, another important thing that you should check for your digital products is that you want to head over to the product section onto Shopify, click on the product that we just added. So again, in my case, the fitness course, and then make sure that onto the shipping, this is a physical product is not ticked off. And also onto the inventory section, you want the track quantity to be unchecked because we don't really have any items that go in and out of stock. It's a digital download that's always available. So go ahead and click save once you've done that and you should be able to see your product live onto your Shopify store and your customers can order it. And that's really the whole process on how you can sell digital downloads within Shopify. Whether you want to launch ebooks, courses, media packs, templates, or any other downloadable content, you should now have the knowledge on how you can get started using this business model. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you have any other questions or your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one.